gonna test the waterproofness of these four duck boots that we cut apart recently to see which one is the most waterproof. And then just out of curiosity, we're gonna see how many pounds it takes to pierce a nail through the outsole of each of these boots. And the reason I'm doing this test is if you've ever bought a pair of boots expecting them to be waterproof and then you go out for a hike and all of a sudden your socks are wet, it's the worst thing ever. And I just wanna know what to expect with this style of boot. Can you expect them to be waterproof all the way up to where they're laced up to or just to where the rubber is or kind of what to expect when using these boots? And the way that we're going to do that is with this water tank, we're gonna fill it up full of water at these various points, put some blue dye in the water so that when we stuff each of these boots with some tissue paper, we'll be able to see hopefully the, the dye leaching in through the boot and saturating the tissue paper. So for the first test, we're just testing the rubber part where we're gonna raise the water level just below the seam line that connects the leather to the rubber and just double check that the rubber doesn't leak on any of these boots because you never know with these Walmart boots if there's a place where it's gonna fail. So let's start that test. So we let them sit in there for 20 or 30 minutes, pulled them out and none of them leaked as to be expected. So we're ready to move to the next test. Now to the second level test, moving up to where the seam connects the leather upper to the rubber bottom. This might be the most important aspect of this test because this is probably where the cheaper boots are gonna fail and the more expensive ones aren't gonna fail, hopefully. And if you didn't watch the cut in halves of each of these videos, let's quickly go over what these boots are. We'll start with the Walmart boots. These babies are 30 bucks. They are pretty terrible in every conceivable way. Next up is the Sperry boot. Pretty similar to the Walmart boot in the way that it doesn't have any seam seal around the stitching, so I'm pretty sure this one's gonna leak as well. Then to the Sorrells, which actually have seam seals that protects the, the threads from leaching water through. And finally, to the LL Beans. I don't think these have any seam seal protection, but they are fully gusseted and they've been around for a long time. So I think maybe they just use a thread that isn't quite as um, water absorb absorptive. So let's move on to the second test. So actually pretty surprising results. Every single one of these boots leaked. Obviously the LL Beans leaked the least, but everything else leaked about the same. Yeah, the LL Beans have nothing in them. These are wet. These are, these actually have a puddle in them. Maybe the Walmarts were worse. But one interesting thing was with the Sorrells, I'm not even sure if the seam itself leaked or if water just snuck in between the tongue and the sidewall of the boot because it's that, that gusset is so low. We had a hard time balancing the boot and water might have leaked in and you might be saying that the, the test has been ruined. But because that's such an easy fell point for just this simple test, if you're ever trouncing around in puddles or out in the rain, that rain's gonna seep, seep in there anyway. And there's no amount of thread seal or seam seal that's gonna prevent water from coming in through the tongue. So that was kind of a bummer. But the LL Beans did the best, which was surprising because they don't have any seam seal, but it still allowed the least amount of water in. And then the Sperry's were just a disaster. The Walmart boots were a disaster. And so, and so I guess we don't even really need to go to the top of the boot because they all failed at that point, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing because now we know maybe that this style of duck boot with the rubber bottom and the leather upper, it isn't made to be jumping in puddles higher than where the rubber is or made for really, really wet conditions. It's more of a casual rain boot, a boot that you, if you happen to be getting in some wet terrain, you'll be okay, but it's far from actually waterproof. Now onto the puncture test. And this is the test that really is interesting to me because it doesn't really matter how waterproof your boot is. If it just takes a sharp rock to pierce the sole enough for the water to come in, your, your boots aren't waterproof. So let's move to the puncture test. Breck helped me make up a little rig to make it as reliable and scientific as possible. It's far from really scientific. It's a little bit of garage science, but basically we've mounted a nail to a board that screws onto the bottom of a 35 pound weight hoisted by an engine crane. And what we're gonna do is slowly lower that onto the boot to read how many pounds it takes to actually pierce through the sole. And in order to get a semi-accurate and repeatable measurement, we've 
made this little jig that goes inside of the boot that has a little teeny hole that we line up with a laser to slowly lower it down and take an accurate reading of how many pounds are taken off of the weight to pierce through. And this video is sponsored by Weaver Leather Supply. It's one of the main places I go to get anything from panels of leather for smaller projects. The knife that I use in every single video, um, I love this knife. And they also have like the replacement blades so you can buy them once you've gotten them beyond repair from sharpening them. Um, hardware for whatever project you're working on and like just various tools for leather working and leather care. And they have really fair prices. They're based in the United States. And we also use more of their production products and their equipment in the shop every single day. We, we have their belt stamper, we have their uh, burnisher, we use a little rotary punch, and we use them all day, every single day. And maybe the best thing about Weaver is they're super knowledgeable on all of their products. So you can call them up and ask them pretty in-depth questions. They know what they're talking about. They're not just gonna send you something you don't need. And their shipping and fulfillment is really quick. So when you're working on a project, you don't wanna wait forever for things to be shipped to you. Weaver Leather Supply gets it really quick. So if you're trying out leather for the first time, you're trying to maintain your leather or you're um, a small batch production company. Check out Weaver Leather Supply. We use them every single day. I love the company. And also you can save 10% with the code ROSEANVILLE at checkout. So check them out via the link in my description. So pretty interesting results and a couple surprises. So the Walmart boots took 9.8 pounds to pierce through the sole. The Sperry's were the really surprising one. It only took six pounds of pressure to pierce through these. The Sorrells did slightly better with 11.4 pounds to pierce through. And then finally to the LL Bean boots, it took 14.4 pounds to pierce through. So at the end of the day, the LL Bean boots were the most puncture resistant, the most water resistant, and from the, the cut in half videos, is the best built boot. They're built in America. They're high quality water resistant rubber or <laughs> leather. The rubber is a single piece injection molded. And I've been super impressed with the LL Beans throughout this mini series. And so pretty clearly, I think the LL Bean boots won this series. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video. It's a little bit different style of video, but it was really fun to make. It was fun working with everyone on making all the rigs and stuff to test everything as scientifically as we could. So if you liked it, consider subscribing. If you're, if you're already subscribed, uh, do me a favor and like this video and let me know what you thought of these results. How can we improve this style of video or how can we make some different rigs to test these more accurately and more scientifically? But thank you guys for everything you do and check out all these boots via the link in my description and uh, the rest of this week's gonna be crazy. We got some cool videos coming out. So thank you guys. See ya.